So that's pretty exciting. That's about to show. We're actually out picking up the wood chipple. We just got out of guy's place and we got the wood chipple all hooked up to a truck. We, we, we tried to get on started. We had a battery to change the fill filter. But One, the spark plugs are pretty damaged, so we need to get a new spark plug for our nail. So we can't get started, but it was tiny metal. Pretty good when you're turning the key, it was tiny metal. So I'm going to show you guys around a little bit, and then I'll get on the journey back. Okay, so it looks like we got the choke. We got the keyhole. I have the key. We got this level right here. Little teeny tiny wheels on this thing. We have false triple. Looks like there's two belts in here with this box. Both belts are in pretty good shape. We got a muffler screen in there. Had to clean the oil out. It's 19 horsepower. Got uh, one busted light. Okay, everybody, so that was an induction on the wood chip on 19 and a half horsepower and I forget, I think we got a full inch span we can put chips in here, and then uh, we have this piece goes on right here, and this is our spout to aim the wood chips where we want to spray them. It needs to be cleaned a little bit, but otherwise that one's starting to join back to the farm with this thing. Back and check it out. We, got, we had to take a lot of old gas out of the tank. We put some fresh in there. Stabilizer. Okay, let's go on the road. The wood chip was pulling back though right now. You can't see it in you know, one of the meals because it's just not as wide as a truck. You barely see it back there. You know you got a wood chip back there. It's tiny little wheels hopping around. You got to drive slow with it. Catch some sleet scenery, you know.
everybody, thanks for sticking with the Mountain High YouTube channel on this. Uh, well, I just got back down to a gate. I got to open up the gate and get up in there. Safe journey so far. It's probably like 40, 45 mile journey with this. The guy hasn't pulled it around for 12 years. Tiles were good and everything, so it made it. That light busted, but wasn't going that far. We weren't on any serious freeways, so just got to go home as fast as we can get home. Okay, I'm gonna get all up in our gate, and close the gate and everything, and get this video on. Hey, everybody. Well, uh, we got back with the wood chipper hill. It is about like eight o'clock at night or so, and we're about calling it a day. But always, it's a long day, and we did some work for the guy while we were there, and we helped out a lot. He's very he's older, and um, he just. He used to have this chip on, he just, you know, never used it, but he kept a good care of it. And so we got it from him, had a good deal. It's gonna be a pretty good, uh, pretty good mumble of the farm here. And if you guys watch my uh, Mastercraft, I have a part one and part two on the channel. And we'll probably gonna hook that up with some sort of engine so it could tow this, because obviously it's on a trolling and wheel setup. So I'm gonna show you guys around this. I'm gonna show you guys around this chip a little bit, and uh, we'll call it a night because it's getting kind of late. Okay, this is it, all fully set up, and it's pretty much just mounted on a trollo like stand here. It is just a trollo frame. It has trollo wheels, the axle, the lights, and then it has a chip mounted right here with the engine mounted on there and then the battery goes out here. I don't have a battery in there right now. I have to get a battery. I have to get two spark plugs. One spark plug was just totally blown apart. Everything else is in pretty good shape. The guy always kept it covered. One thing he always is doing wet pine and uh, well, I'm probably not going to be doing wet pine. I don't have much pine. But it would clog up this entrance in here. Let's see if you guys can see. It clog up the little entrance. It's not really that big of an entrance. So clog it up. And you always have to keep poking if it's clean. And then same for down here. Well, it hooks on. It hooks on right there. It's just a little tiny entrance. And then it looks like it has a safety. So it, this piece has to come down on that little metal tag. So I have to check the wiring, but it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty simple. Yeah, it has a uh, two-inch, two-inch ball, safety chains, a little s stand that sits on. Well, on a fresh day, I can't wait to check this out. Totally get the master craft out of here, hook it on. It's actually not too heavy. I can move it by hand. It's, you know, it is pretty heavy. The, all the weight's sitting on the back tiles here. So it's all pulling down on you. Putting wood chips in. I mean, my bad, sorry. Putting debris in, wood debris in. Having it spray out as wood chips. And what I was thinking is maybe weld something on the back of my, I have like a red Rylon wall troll. So weld something on the back of that so I can have a ball hitch and then have the wood chips spray right into the back of the troll. And that Mastercraft is pretty massive. It can pull some pretty good weight, especially on a level ground. I don't know if you're trying to do a hill for full troll or wood chips and a chipple. But this is pretty exciting, guys. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. This is the Mountain High YouTube channel. If anyone ever has any comments, I would love to help out down below in the comments. Always hit that notification, that subscribe. Um, have a good night, guys. Take care.